You get me. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lario, if you don't know me. Today, I'm gonna be talking about something that I've never seen before in my career. It's an awesome plugin. It's called Audio Cypher. Basically, what it does is it creates MIDI chord progressions and melody progressions out of words that you type into it. Pretty hard to explain. I'd just rather show you and just show you what it does. Let's just hop right into it. All right, so the way you open it up is after you install it, you go into your mixer and then you add it like an effects plugin. Pretty simple. Simple, straightforward plugin. Nothing too complicated here. This is where you type in the words. You can choose your root and your scale. Let's just choose D sharp minor. And then you can choose the note duration. So you could choose like one or half, quarter, eighth, and sixteenth. Let's choose quarter note for now. Share this with a friend if you get we got share this with a friend if you get me after that all you have to do is drag it in to any plugin that you'd like so you can see it just naturally generates a melody progression for you so let's just see what happens if we put it on eighth i think we're gonna do eighth and again let's just add a couple more notes at the end of this melody Yeah, so as you can see, it just helps me with inspiration right away. It's just instantly, no matter what you type in, it's going to give you pretty much that length of a melody. Let's just build on that. Let's go A sharp. Let's throw some lower notes in here. All right, so now let's see what we can do to spice this melody up a little bit. Let's try throwing halftime on that. throw an EQ after that just dial back some of those lows make some room for kicks and 808s let's try throwing another plugin on there just to beefing things up maybe like a low a low synth bass Let's send that to the mixer. You can hear a little bit of clash in there, so let's maybe go back into the EQ, dial back a little bit more on those lows in that main progression that Audio Cypher made for us. Open up the EQ on that silent synth bass. Take back some of those highs and a little bit of like the really sub low frequencies here. Let's try using Audio Cypher to create a counter melody too, like why not? Let's just do just you get me here. Let's see what quarter note does. Leave it just like that and duplicate it. Up one more octave. I like that melody, let's just try swapping the sound out for something else. All right, so I found this preset in Flex. Sounds pretty good. Let's throw it into the mixer. I like it. Let's throw some reverb. EQ. Yeah, so basically now we have three different melodies that are all kind of living in their own space. We have that main melody, you know, it's taking up most of the mid, mid lows, mid highs. Then we have that synth bass taking up the mid lows and lows. Now we have that new melody we just added with Audio Cypher that takes up those high frequencies. So now I think I'm gonna add some drums and we'll see where we're at at that point. All right, so before I move on to the drums, I just wanna add a little bit more sauce. Let's throw Fruity Delay 3. And this is a little trick that I've learned along the way. I'm gonna turn this time knob all the way down to like, under one. The wet knob a little up. So it sounds good. It gives it a little bit more character. So now onto the drums. Here's the drums that I added. And I added an 808 here. Just kind of follows that bottom progression that that low synth bass does. Yeah, so that's gonna do it for this one. If you like what you saw and you like and want to try out Audio Cipher, hit the link down in my description below to get it for ten dollars. That's fifty-five percent off using the code YEGETME10. And make sure to share this with a friend if 
you get me. <laughs>